uh, welcome to another video. Um, today, obviously, <coughs> by the title, I'm going to be trying to put a cold air feed on the VXR. Um, this is just an expandable cold air feed, 3 inch. Um, I've gone for this colour blue. It's obviously matches the car kind of, but these need spray into the um, ordinary colour. It is flexible, it pulls out. Uh, but I've gone ahead and took, obviously, the front bumper off ready. You don't really need to see the ins and outs of that. Um, looks very bare. Just make sure you unplug in your fog lights. Um, when you do take it off, just literally a twist. And obviously, uh, this uh, cable just here, I'm not sure what that's to actually. I think it's airflow. To airflow, maybe I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, um, hopefully, today I'm going to be fitting this into the fog light, uh, bringing it all the way up underneath here. Um, I may have to put the um, box filter back in and feed it through the box filter but I don't know where it stands. If I can get it so it goes behind the front grill I'll do that but looking at that there's not really that much um, room to play with so uh, I'll get back to you once I've had a little fiddle around and see what was where. Okay so uh, in this video I want to show you the bad things that I've done as well and, uh, and I'm learning from as I'm going along. Um, as you can see, it's in uh, on that end. Uh, the front bumper's still off. Um, I've made a different decision. Instead of bringing it up this side here, I brought it up this way. Um, now I'm hoping I can get the um, headlight in, which I'm about to find out. So again, I'm going to show you my trials and errors. Um, this here is the, obviously the fog light. You need to pull this blue clip out, pull it out, and then obviously the end bit comes on. That's going to be wrapped around something um, and covered up, so you obviously don't get any water damage. This here is obviously for your headlights, so I'm now I'm about to see if I can get that in place um, and I'll get back to you soon. Okay, so welcome back. This is just a quick update. Um, I've obviously done this myself as I've gone along, so I'm trying to update you guys as much as I can. Uh, first thing you want to do is take your headlight out, so it gives you a bit more room to play with in here. Um, for me, I ideally wanted this facing closer to that, but you know, it don't always help, but any cold air is extra, so that's a benefit. Uh, it's actually screwed into a existing hole right here on this uh, arch. You know, get a decent sized screw, put it through. Holds it quite quite secure, so that's good. Uh, feed it down through here, uh, and obviously this is where it should end up, which should be your fog light. Now regarding your fog light, um, as you can see, mine's been taken out. Um, to get your actual light itself out, which is just here, you have, I'll show you on this side, two screws, you have one here, uh, and one just down here. Use a torque uh, 20 screwdriver bit. This whole thing just pulls straight out. To get your um, surround out, which is this, which a lot of guys have asked me how they've got them out, how you painted them, etc. etc. Um, it's very, very simple. You just literally see these clips on the back. You've got these tabs which pull in here. You just literally push them through, pull two on each side, and it just pulls straight off. It is that simple. Um, so now I'm going to try and uh, connect this to this, which Obviously I'm going to have to put the bumper semi on um, to put this through here, uh, which doesn't sit perfect but it sits good enough, you know, I'm happy with that, there's a little gap on this side but it's nothing uh, major, so this is purely for me to see performance wise, see if there's any difference or anything like that with an open cone filter, um, because I tend to find that I get better performance when I've got a closed filter, believe it or not, um, so I'm hoping the cold air feed will help this. Um, well that's it for now, I'll get back to you as soon as I can, uh, update you some more. Okay, so welcome back. Um, as I said with this video, it was me learning, uh, practicing, basically learning from my mistakes, see what I could do to help you guys out. Um, it's in, I have it in, as you can see there. Um, it's um, looks quite decent. Um, the original place where I had the pipe um, was down this area here. That's not going to work, not one bit. Uh, you can hear the engine creaking, that's because I've took it on a test drive already, which I can let you know about. Um, this here, obviously, is connected to this. Um, I've put it all the way down this left side. The only downside to this is this little bit here on the headlight. Um, you can see it there. Yeah, it just catches this a little bit, but not enough to uh, cause any problems. But what I would suggest is put your pipe in place, screw it in here, so you're going to do it the exact same as me. Um, put your headlight in, make sure that sits in, because if that don't sit in, you're a bit um, screwed. Uh, ignore all this here as well. <laughs> I need to trim that off still. Um, 
but yeah, um, performance wise, um, I'd say actually it's worth doing because let's just say I tested it quite a lot um, and it pulled through all gears, um, it felt a bit better, um, especially when I was in sixth and I was doing triple figures. Um, and uh, yeah, it just wanted to keep going, obviously, I didn't push it too much because you know, it didn't want to. Engine we can't really cope with that at the minute, so um, yeah, you'll have to excuse the bay, it's a bit um, dirty. And yes, I have sprayed this. Um, I think I'm going to spray it a little bit darker because obviously it doesn't match the rest. Uh, it's like all different shades of blue. Um, but I suppose it does match this part, so again, um, it's like decisions. <laughs> but yeah, other than um, that, as you can see, it fits out nicely. As you can see, the other fog light's still in. Um, law wise you do not need any fog lights on the front you only need them on the back so you can actually get rid of both but the reason why I've chose this side is because obviously well the driver's side sorry because I'm in England so it's right and drive um, is because um, of the fact that it's a shorter distance to the air filter you don't have to wrap it around anything uh, and secondly puddles uh, because I'm wary of stuff going inside that pipe now I will obviously check it in the morning before I start up, put a cloth in there, dry any water out. Um, I may actually put a bag on the end of this to let air through, but obviously catch any like debris or like leaves or anything that goes through it. But again, as I was saying before, um, I picked this side as well because of the fact that any deep water or any puddles or anything, ideally, are usually on the curb side of the road, which is the left. So this side isn't going to be bothered. So I've plenty to toy with on this side. Um, I wouldn't recommend going for any forges, which is obviously bits of water um, covering the road. I wouldn't really recommend it. But yeah, it's a cheap, simple way. It costs £15. Pound. Um, it's increased the power, I'd say, by a little bit. I wouldn't say it's a massive amount, but it's uh, definitely a noticeable amount when, you, when it's pulling. Uh, and it keeps wanting to pull. So uh, yeah, um, thank you for watching this video. Um, that is pretty much all it. You, to put everything to put backwards, you just have to reverse it, put the bumper on, put the light back in, check your light bulbs are working before you start doing anything all back up. Um, and yeah, that's it. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, subscribe, comment, like, any questions, feel free to ask and I'll see you in the next one.